Welcome to the new channel. And here we are in the French Pyrenees. After an 18 hour drive to get here, we finally made it to this beautiful little small holding. My girlfriend Hannah and I have been lucky enough to be asked to look after this place for a few months over the winter. As you can hear, we've got some animals to look after. Five of them being goats, two sheep, a flock of chickens, and a horse. I'm allergic to horses. So what I thought I'd do to start this off is give you a tour of this little homestead. So first of all, that there, Oh, can't see it because of the thing. That there is our little house that we're staying in. And our lovely Fiat fullback truck that we've been kindly lent. We've got our fire going to keep us nice and warm. Here we've got two little chalets. They're not used at the moment, but apparently we're allowed friends to stay if we want, so that's nice. And we can go and meet the chickens. Yeah, let's go and meet the chickens. So here's some of the chickens here. Hello, chicks. Hello. There are lovely chickens. What I thought I'd do is give you a little walk around, basically show you where we are. So if we come through here, this is our hay barn. So one of our jobs we've got to do while we're here is put a new roof on this barn. So we've got some metal sheet in here, we're going to replace that roof for her while we're here. That's a little chicken run where the chickens live at night and now we're going into the first paddock so Kate the owner of this place has only been here a couple of years all these paddocks were already laid out when she got here so she's slowly changing things as she wants to um, but I think she put these new panels on here so that looks nice and new but I think all these fences eventually are going to be changed out and moved about a bit at the moment this field is mainly a goat paddock and a little sheep grazing area so I'll introduce you to our two little sheep here we got Blackie hello Blackie this is Blackie She's the friendly one of the two. Say hello. See, she's lovely. Hello. She's not friendly enough to stroke yet. And over here, this is the bigger of the two sheep. This is Snowy. She's not so friendly. Hello, Snowy. As you can see, she runs away. Come on, Snowy. Come on. Nope. Oh, is she coming? Is she coming? Snowy? Hello. Hello. So, oh, Snowy's not that interested. Here's another project we've got. So this is Cape Polytunnel. At the moment, as you can see, there's a few holes in this polytunnel, so it's not doing its job properly. And the sheep got in there, and the goats got in there, and ate everything. So I think we've got to recover the polytunnel. And the plan is to turn this patch here into a vegetable garden. So while we're here, I want to put a fence all along this. See this. There's an old concrete thing down here. I'm going to put fence line up there, along there, and turn this into a vegetable patch. So 
So there's a fair bit of work here to do this. Gonna make her a composter, put the fence around it, turn the ground over, and hopefully be a lovely, lovely vegetable patch. And from here, we can go through there. And if we go through here, this takes us into another little paddock. But as you can see, we're right next to this beautiful river. It's such a lovely spot here. Got a river right next to us, mountains all around us. We couldn't be luckier really. There's snow on the peaks of some of the mountains now, so it won't be long until we can go skiing. But if we take a stroll through here, so what I plan on doing is eventually I'm going to clear all this brush out here, turn this into a nice pathway, maybe put some uh, wood chip on the ground because it's a bit boggy. Because as you can see, it's all a little overgrown. There's a tree come down here, figuring cut all that out so we don't get stabbed as we walk through. Some wood chips on the floor, and it's nice and, nice and safe to walk through. So that us, the goats don't seem to struggle, but I do a little bit. So here we are in the paddock, which is just next to the house. The sheep, tend to, sheep and goats tend to be in here most of the time, if I'm honest. But they don't seem to be in here today. We've got punch bag, which is not for me, but to the goats apparently. A bit of enrichment, they seem to headbutt it a bit. And here we have a swing. I don't think this is for me either, but I'm going to use it. Make the most of everything. Here's another view of our little cottage. We've got wood stores. Here's our outside tap to feed the goats, or water the goats even. Place to put all our logs. And if we carry on through here, we don't want to touch this. This was. Don't know if you saw that, but I got a shock. <laughs> it took a while, but I got it. <laughs> so through here, this is another little goat shed. So that bit in the corner is where the little goats can get away from Fernie. We'll introduce her to Fernie, because she's a bit of a beast. At the moment she's in heat, so she won't leave me alone. She'll follow me everywhere. So here we are in my favourite bit. This is the woodland. We've got big log stores. So we're going to do some cutting up of wood. There's lots of brush that needs clearing down here. So this is all of ours to look after. I'm going to take you and introduce you to the goats. I think Fernie's on her way. I think she can hear us. So the river runs all the way up here, all the way down the side of the property. Here she comes. Can you hear her? Hello, Fernie. Hello, Fernie. So as you can see, there's a lot of brush on the ground which needs clearing out. Anybody with any advice on what to do would be greatly appreciated. And look, this is Fernie. Hello, Fernie. This one's Fernie. I think. Look, she's trying to hit the camera. Merlin. Hello. That's Fernie. This one's Merlin. Hello, Merlin. That one's Merlin. And I think this one here is Curly. Say hello, Curly. That one's Curly. There we go, she said hello a bit late. This one here is... Which one are you? I think well, this one's Stevie. Say hello, Stevie. Look, Fernie's chasing them because they're near me. Sorry, Fernie, am I giving the other one's attention? That one's Stevie. 
And, oi, don't you ram me. And then here's my favorite one. I know I shouldn't have a favorite already, but I have. This one is little Sylvie. Hello, little Sylvie. Bernie, leave her alone. Hello, Sylvie. Oi, Bernie, leave her alone. You leave her alone. So the property goes all the way down here. Yeah. Bernie's going to follow us now. Should we see if she, should we see if she's following? Yep, she's following. So last night when we got here, she kept jumping over the fence to get to me. That electric fence that just shocked me. She's willing to get shocked by it just to get to us. So right. We're at the corner of the property now. So this is the corner of the property where this river intersects. Then it comes all the way up through here. All this brush needs clearing out. All these falling down trees. So that's a job while we're here as well. I think that's one I'm going to enjoy. Went out and treated myself to a new chainsaw before we came. So that's going to get fully used. Oh, I think I've got myself stuck. So anyway, this is a, the beach. Hello. This is the beach area next to the river. I'm still not sure how to get around this place without getting stuck between old barbed wire fences. <coughs> so right. Back in the forest, off the beach, and then the property comes around here without falling over. Most of this woodland's hazel, so anybody with any advice on how to coppice the hazel without going too low because apparently if you take it too low when it sprouts back up the goats have a tendency to eat it so it won't grow back so anybody on any advice on coppicing hazel when you have goats yeah. she's still following us hey Fernie hello hello so anybody on advice on that that would be greatly appreciated we're pretty much at the top of the woodland now. Kind of tapers out into a bit of a point where it ends. So it's not a massive woodland, but big enough to get a bit of timber out of and big enough for the goats to have a mill around. And what we've got here, we've got another one of our friends that lives on the property. She's actually outside on her neighbor's drive at the moment. But this here is Dacha. Hello Dutcher. See hello. And I didn't think horses were meant to lay down. But this must be one of the laziest horses I've ever met. Because she always seems to be laid down. But she's at the moment is just on whoa, I've got a horse a goat a horn up my butt. Bernie! Back it in. <laughs> Was that funny, Dutcher? Was that funny? Yes? You laughing? Back it in, Bernie. Come on. You getting up? Good girl. Come here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. This is a good girl, Dacha. So I shouldn't really be doing this as I'm allergic to horses. <laughs> yes, Bernie, I know. I shouldn't be touching Dacha, I know. But she is beautiful, so I can't really resist. But Hannah will be riding Dacha, taking her out for rides and walks and stuff. But we can't do that today because in France, Saturday's hunting day, so it's not advisable to be going out in the forests, walking and riding around while people are hunting. But that's pretty much all of the property. We've got the goat sheds, we've got the house, we've got the paddocks, the little chalets, the forest. Ow! And a stick. Uh. So, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that needs clearing out. It'll make it a lot easier to walk around here. 
I think I've probably said that already. Hello. And now, I'm sure this goat won't leave me alone all day. Anyway, I just thought that would give us a quick introduction to the channel. Introduction to where we are for the season. And uh, hopefully you all will follow along and see the progress as we carry on here over the next few months. So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.